So this is living in Boulder vlog for uh, Sunday, August 12th, 2018. So I usually do a video like once a week. So here's my weekly video. Uh, let me get you caught up on what I'm up to. So um, last time I did a video, I can't remember what I was saying. Um, I was trying to clean my room. I'm kind of high right now. Um, yeah, but, like, I've been getting, like, lots of, uh, new technology and stuff, and so I found out about the streaming, so I was streaming, and then somebody was like, ooh, you're streaming or whatever, and, and then you get OBO, so I got OBO software, Open Broadcaster software, somebody told me right when I was, because you can do auto Insta chat, and, uh, I got that where you can do all of the, uh, editing, so, like, um, it's kind of like being a radio star, only now you're a video guy, live. And then I found out about this thing called the Elgato uh, button, like, keyboard, which I entered, um, ordered online. Uh, Amazon will be here on Friday, so on Friday, that's when I'll really get into it. Or maybe that's when I'll get into it, and until then, I'll just try to prepare my house. But, yeah, like, so you can, you can uh, stream. So I'm there. So if I'm going to stream, at first I was streaming, I'm like, <sighs> laying in bed. Don't fuck around with OBO, by the way. It'll bite you in the dick if you're not careful. So, um, but anyway, I was doing, OB I was doing like streaming and um, I'm in bed, and then I was like, you know, if I'm gonna stream, that's cool and everything, but it's better to stream while you're riding the bike. You know, that's like that's ulti ultimate multitasking is when you're streaming. I mean, or when you're streaming, you want to multitask because now the whole world sees you, so you want to impress the world. You don't want to like be a douche. So multitasking, multitasking, that's the way of the future. So multitasking, streaming, multitasking, so. Um, so that's what I'm going to do uh, I, I, from now on. <sighs> Any work that I do on my computer, I'll do on my bike while I'm streaming. And uh, I'll use this little, this little keyboard thing. It's like this big that I'll have right on the side there where I can touch it. And... Uh, if I'm working on Dreamweaver, you just hit the Dreamweaver button or whatever pre-configured. Pre and then you have the Dreamweaver there, and then you have in the corner, I'll have a green screen behind me so I could have whatever background. Um, and um, I'll be on Dreamweaver, and then I could switch to other programs if I want to like, Premiere or something. And then, um, you know, and then I want to have um, Swift, Zwift on one corner of it because Swift is going to show my uh, watts, my current watts and speed and everything and heart rate. Um, I'm going to stream that. And so then I can just, I can work on the website and then if I get sick of that I can, because I'm streaming, I can do a Swift race and stream it or I could do a Swift time trial and then take off and do other things. Uh, yeah, get back into shape, do all the different sports. I, I want to do rowing. Uh, triathlon and rowing. <sighs> One of these days, I'd like to get a um, like a mountain bike and a, a cyclocross bike and a gravel bike and be a, like a, a biker. But for now, I got a um, I have a road bike, and uh, but I got an electric bike because for my fiance comes and visits. We can go on rides together, but also for me, um, I got it like size between. I could put a shorter still on for her, lower the seat, but for me, I had it duplicated to my road bike. And so I can ride it up into the mountains until the battery dies. They say it lasts 20 miles, so you go up in the mountains. And then, um, and then you can recharge it on the way down. Um, so, yeah, I'll just see how far I can make it, you know, and then you get farther and farther, the more fit you get. Maybe you'll get fit enough to make it all the way to, like, Brainerd Lake or something on one charge. Um, so, yeah, that'll be interesting, and then maybe it'll be faster. It'll just be fun experimenting, see how much faster it is than my normal bike. And, <sighs> um, I like the idea of being able to climb up hills really fast. <laughs> It's kind of like that placebo effect. Maybe it'll make me, it'll trick me into actually riding a pasture because I did it before on my watt bike. Here, I'll show you. So I've got, 
I got my rower. I want to do dumbbells too, so my dumbbell thing up there. And then, um, and so, as you can see, the uh, Copenhagen bike is sized exactly the same as my road bike. Like, same, same size. So it feels like I'm riding on the same bike. So, and it's, it's a full-on uh, road bike. A grace bike with, uh, with its own cranks. SRM cranks, uh, watt cranks. So I can go out there and ride as hard as I can. Ooh, the watt bike, and then I can come home and I'll know exactly like what level I am, you know? I won't have to like not know because I was going at the watt bike speed, you know? So, uh, and then I can also do, do, do good science. I have my bike racer level pages I'm gonna start working on and finish and I can plug all the information from the watt bike into that and that'll be really cool. Um, riding the watt bike is really interesting. Um, I didn't know until I got the bike that, uh, that it has a governor on it. Uh, <laughs> he bought the bike from um, Boulder Bicycle Works and he, Brian says that um, it was on a 28 mile an hour uh, governor. And uh, so when I ordered it, I thought that I just assumed that it wouldn't be have a governor on it. So I'd just be able to like put some time trial bars on it or go downhill and just ride as hard as I could. And it would assist me all the way to its maximum ability, you know, and I could go on the flats at 40 miles an hour. And so it's kind of uh, interesting to ride it because, uh, you know, it accelerates really well. Um, you don't hear anything. But it feels exactly like it would feel if, if like God was put just pushing you, and with each stroke, it's the same thing as it's the same force as if somebody were to push you like it as hard as it could. Okay, so or somebody were like running alongside you and just pushing you as hard as it could, it's just a lot of force. I think on the website or something it said 350 watts, but on my uh, my uh, booklet that it came with it, it said 250. And when I mm -hmm, when I look at the um, at the uh, app, it says that it was maxing out at 250 watts. So, yeah, when you uh, get it back, it um, it has its own uh, GPS hooked into it. So there's my watt bike trip that I did today, and uh, yeah, and so if you connect, well, maybe I can connect here. Maybe it's on. I don't. I don't think it's on though. Yeah, I guess it doesn't see it. So, but it yet, oh wait, I can show right here. It says 453 watts. So, I think that they're meaning uh, me plus the bike. So, um, but yeah, I'll have to look into that. So, anyway, it's fun. I'm going to start doing that for you. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to put up another light on the top. I'm just organizing my room right now, my house. Um, I put my um, my fish up on the divider, and I'm getting rid of this other couch, and so I can put those four bikes there, and then I can put more bikes there because I can put my stuff up on this on up higher. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna hang a bunch of hooks so I can hang stuff. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, but right now I'm gonna go and uh, hook up my Garmin bicycle computer and. Uh, the uh, the watt pedals on my my bike and then on the watt bike the the watt cranks get that hooked up and uh, make sure that it's all working and then and then get it hooked up with Swift and uh, and then figure out how to green screen stream on OBO so there's there's lots of technical stuff to do between t yeah today today and tomorrow and uh, yeah but by Friday I'm looking forward to that uh streaming thing um yeah i don't know what's going to be the first thing that's going to get me riding like am i going to want to ride streaming or am i going to want to ride outside on the watt bike or on the road bike uh it's kind of uh oh, oh yeah i also want to get caught up on my website get my website looking <laughs> looking good um 
I have, um, I made a blog page that has, every day I want to, I want to show how many miles I rode or traveled doing what, and, and then like what my time was and have the link to Strava. But I also want to do uh, videos of the books that I do that day when I listen to them. Um, because I'll be more, it'll be a lot easier to just go all the way through a book when you're um, doing one thing, just writing all day long. And uh, also I'll probably end up being more sober, which will make me more likely to remember the book and then want to do a video. So. so yeah, the combination of those two things and that do a bunch of videos and photos of it. It's going to be super interesting, but I want to see if I can get my website looking good. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I, uh, it's going to be interesting. To see. I mean, I know that I'm going to do it, but I hope it's not going to be too stressful for me, like getting like embarrassed about how basic my website looks, but not having really having the time to, to improve it. But I will, you know. I'll have, I'll have a certain number of days, hours every day, to lay down in my bed, you know, resting and just, you know, improving my website little by little. Okay, so that's what I'm up to now. I'm going to go and hook up that bike stuff. Peace out.